how I got a ride or die. What's going on YouTube, just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Benefactor BR8 which was released with the Summertime DLC there. This is one of two open wheel cars which was released with the Summertime DLC. The other one was the Classy DR1 which was $2.9 million. Now this one is a little bit more expensive at $3.4 million and it does look a lot more impressive to be fair. The overall design of the DR1 is actually really nice and I was really impressed with it overall um, but it felt like it could be a little bit faster. This one driving it to LS Customs actually felt a little bit quicker and um, it's a lot more sleek in its design. It's not so wide and it just looks a lot more aerodynamic. So yeah man I'm digging the Benefactor BR BR8 at the moment. It looks awesome. So, without being said, let's crack on with the build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the super brakes. Almost said the race brakes then. <laughs> but they, they are super brakes on this. Then we've got the front wing. So we get the medium. Then we've got the circuit attack. Then the championship and the legendary. Legendary is, yeah, is a little bit too far-fetched for me. Uh, so championship front wing is the one we're going to go for. Engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhaust. So we've got the titanium tips. Not even sure where the exhausts are on this man. They are hidden somewhere. So maybe changing all this up isn't actually going to make a difference. Because we can't see them anyways. So I'm accelerating. You see the flames there. <laughs> you can't even see where the exhausts are. So it makes no difference. What ones you purchase. I'm going to get the titanium ones. Because I know they look cool anyway. Even though we can't see them. Next we've got the livery. So we've got the Pissvasa one. Which actually looks really good with this paint colour. It's Tensia one. The Atomic. Then they've got the Mean Match. The Quick Fix. Fix Up. Loving the look of that. E. Cola. The Sprunk. Redwood. Cheveza. And then that's it. That one actually looks quite nice, man. Um, not sure what one I will go for for this one. I might go with a Sprunk. Just because it covers the whole car. It actually looks quite decent, man. I'm loving the... The blue with the lime green, well, like the ultra blue with the lime green um, paint contrast actually looks quite nice. But then also this fix up looks good, but then that's keeping the car black. Um, I'm just going to give it a sprunk. It looks decent enough. For the respray, we are going to go primary color and classic just to see if any color does change, which it doesn't look like it does. Uh, I can't see anything changing on the primary, so the sprunk one seems to cover all bases on that. What about the secondary colour? Let's have a little look in classic. See if anything changes. Yeah, so again, this Sprunk livery looks like it covers all bases of the car when it comes to the colour. Uh, well, the painted colours. So we're going to stay the original colours for the respray. Then we get the skirt option. So at the moment, it's got like this carbon fibre looking side bit. And that's not a side skirt. What the fuck is that? They're not side skirts. Oh, I don't know about them. Yeah, I think they look a little bit weird in that place. It's ruining it a little bit for me. Yeah, it might be for some people, but it's not for me, so I'm going to stay stock for the skirts. Then we get the spoiler option. Hopefully we can get a bigger one, because that looks a little bit too puny for me. Something that comes out a little bit far. Which we don't, man. Unfortunately, we just get pretty much the same sort of thing. The cutoff actually looks a little bit better than all the others, because it's not like it's tucked away behind the wheel, which I like. Um... I'm not sure about these ones, you know, where you're getting the fin on there as well. It looks a little bit too far-fetched, a little bit funky. Uh, but, I, you know, I like the cut-off. I'm going to go with that one. Transmission, we're going to get the race transmission and also the turbo tuning. For the wheels, I'm just going to keep them as they are because there's not really much other options to purchase because they're all pretty much, they all pretty much look the same, to be honest. And it would only be really a colour change. And I'm happy with the way they look anyway, so I'm just going to stay stocked for the wheels. And then that's it, my dudes. As we pull out of LS Customs, you can see the Benefactor BR8 actually looks quite awesome. Um, I don't really like liveries on cars, but because this is obviously an F1 car, it looks awesome. It looks decent. And um, yeah, I'm overly impressed with the way this actually looks. Customization wise is obviously not too great, but you don't tend to um, worry so much when it's a car like this. Um, and for $3.4 million, I think it's pretty decent. The, the, top, spe the top speed, man, it is unbelievable. 100 miles an hour with ease. 
and it done that a lot quicker than the DR1 I think not sure I could be wrong but it actually feels a lot faster than the the DR1 um, but it is a little bit more expensive so maybe this to be expected it actually looks a lot nicer as well in my opinion it's it's uh, overall design the shape of it looks a lot nicer than the DR1 um, there is like four hundred thousand dollars in it so maybe this is the one you'd want to pick up over that one but I'm, like I said I'm not 100% sure whether this is actually going to be a better performer than the, than the DR1. I just do basic road tests on them. There's plenty of other people on YouTube that can give you a better answer than me when it comes to uh, you know the, the speed and handling of the car. I can just give you my personal opinion on it. And it actually feels awesome. It feels really good and responsive. It feels tight. It feels like wherever you want to put this car, it will go there without a problem. Braking is awesome. Acceleration is awesome. Uh, in my opinion, this is probably the best open wheel car that I've used in GTA out of the four of them. Um, and definitely better, oh shit, <laughs> definitely better than the DR1. So if you are looking for a new open wheel category car, um, I think this BR8 may be the better choice out of the two, out of the two new ones that is. Um, I just think it looks better as well. It looks better and it feels like it performs a lot better as well. But uh, that's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, man, it looks awesome. I'm actually loving these cars, man. And if you're even looking for a fast car, I'd 100% buy an open wheels car for $3.4 million over any of the supercars in this game. But that's just me. I find supercars very boring. And uh, these cars are awesome. They're new, they're quirky, I love them. And the fact that you can use them <laughs> in the open world of Los Santos is even better, man. Could you imagine real life, just some dude rocking up in an F1 car when you're just waiting at the traffic lights? <laughs> It'd be unreal. Uh, yeah, man. But on that bombshell, I'm going to leave the video right where it is. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.